here we are again in the shed for part two of the shadow build. We've done a little bit more. Uh, we started to put the, uh, the front on there uh, with that sheeting. Um, that was a lot of fun. Not more more bits falling out. Um, pain in the ass that is. Um, yeah, the sheeting, you have to do a little bit of modification to the sheeting that they supply um, uh, to, to get it on. Uh, the main one is if you just put a cut in this, uh, in this F8 um, just behind the former, uh, it all sort of curves around quite nicely. And then you have to just trim a little bit off the bottom of it here. And uh, it, it all slots together quite nice. So we're going to carry on with sheeting the other side. We've only done one side so far. Um, we've got to do the other side. Uh, and, and the underneath. And that's pretty much then the, um, the fuselage built. So there'll be some sanding and some, uh, some fettling. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then we'll move on to something else, probably the wings or the tail or or whatever. We'll see how the urge takes us. Well, we've really progressed today. Oops, nearly dropped it then. The fuselage is pretty much complete. Excellent. We've put all the wood onto the fuselage. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a pain in the arse but we've done it. Mm -hmm. So now it's just a bit of tarting up, um, a lot of sanding, get it nice and smooth, fill in some of these uh, laser etch numbers. Yeah, uh, so it's a bit of a... a... bit of a pain, that. And that could be you. <laughs> it's for you. Uh, yeah, and um, we're getting there. So uh, I think this is going to be it for today. It's taken us pretty much all afternoon to get to this stage. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, carry on again tomorrow. Another day and the build carries on. So we've put the fuselage uh, aside for now um, and we're starting on the tailplane. So we just had a look at the drawing and look at the parts and stuff like that and the part numbers are wrong again. So we've just laid out a few of the bits and um, labelled them up uh, as they should be. So we've got an A14 here, which is basically the end, one end of the uh, tailplane. Uh, you've got C3, those two are bonded together. Um, we've got an A13 which goes on to C13 there's a strengthener again and then we've got C2 C2 is the main set of ribs um, on the actual drawings oh sorry not on the drawings on the actual um, laser cutting um, these C2's are marked up as C13's as you can see there when you break that bit out they actually say C13, they're not C13, they're C2. So you should have eight of those, I think it is. Um, and they're C2s. And then you've got C10 at the other end there. So we've quickly mocked up the first part of it, just to try it as we were going through it. And that's generally what it looks like before it's got all its, uh, all its ribs and strengtheners in there. Um, but as you can see, it slots together. Um, so we'll uh, we'll build this and then come back to you if we find anything really weird, which we probably will. Mm. So talk to you in a minute. Okay. So we've come across a little problem um, while we're working on the uh, the tail. Um, we started to jig it together. Um, there you go. Um, there's some bits of strip wood missing. Um, the strip wood for at least the tail and the wing uh, isn't in the box. Whether that's on all the kits or just our one, us being unlucky, um, I don't know. Um, but from what we can work out so far, um, we need at least, or you will need at least, two meters of three mil by three mil 
um, strip wood uh, for the tail and for the wing you're going to need at least four meters of six mil by six mil um, so yeah um, so we've come to a bit of a grinding halt hmm. because we can't finish any of those we can't do the wing and we can't do the tail plane so we're gonna have to order some of that and uh, and, and get it in so uh, yeah just be advised that uh, you might have to go and buy some wood because uh, I can't imagine Obby King are going to send you out some strip wood. No. Because they don't do it. Mm. So, uh, there you go. Um, so, ooh, we might just put this up as the second video. Um, it's going to be shorter than, than number one was. Um, and then we'll carry on when the, uh, when the wood arrives. Okay. <laughs> See you soon. You thought we'd gone, but no, but we're back again. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just thought we'd show you uh, on the on the um, the assembly drawing which bits are missing. Um, so here it says Powell Wiener uh, strip wood, three mil by three mil, um, and it basically runs all the way along the back of those ribs and all the way along the bottom there. Um, that's the three mil. The six mil is on the uh, the D box on the front you can see it runs there and it runs there the full length for the wing so that's one meter two meters plus the other wing that's at least four meters um haven't noticed it anywhere else but um uh, who knows uh yes yeah, so that's on the wing and then if we have a look at the uh the tail plane drawing there you go three by three uh runs the whole length of the the, the the D box on the um, on on the tail plane, um, and that if we just take a quick measurement of the tail plane, the tail plane is roughly uh, 34 centimeters or about 13 and a half uh, inches for those in America. Um, so you need uh, four lengths, at least four lengths of that. Um, I could also tell you that it's used on the hatch, um, on the on the body as well. Um, so if you wanted to get enough for that, you're looking at another uh, 42 inches of, um, of, of that uh, 3x3 strip wood. So, okay, now we're going. Um, any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'm sure we'll have a go at uh, answering them for you. Okay, so it's bye bye from him. And it's goodbye from him.